Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss only the four to six marker calculator type questions. This will be your paper two and three. In our each video, we are going to explain 10 questions and we aim to publish 15 videos of 10 questions, totaling 150 questions before your exams. Please understand the methods and do well in your exam. Let's look at the questions. Hello everyone. Before we start these questions, let's look at this chart. Our predicted grade boundaries for the maths, for the GCSE, for the B grade, level 6, 110 marks. For A grade, level 7, 135. For A star, level 8, 170. So which means you already completed one paper and that is out of 80 marks. According to the critics and all the comments in the social media, the paper is not that easy. Assume that you got half of the paper marks, that means 40 marks here, right? And if you still decently go and do the paper two and paper three with 50 marks each and you get 140, which is secured a, a position level seven, right? So let's say that mean you are going to be get the paper two very low marks, 40 again, then your predicted grades going to be reduced to 6B, right? And now there's a chance paper two, you can either say 60 and 60 so you can see your grade boundary secured in 7 which is A right so in order to get 8 if you the, those who are aiming to get A star level 8 you have to remember in case if you have some silly mistakes in the paper 1 assuming that you are going to get 45 out of 80 marks on the first paper you got to do the paper 2 65 and minimum 65 and a 60 to get an A star position so predicted grade if you are getting 45 65 60 which secure 170 that is a marginal A star for your GCSE maths so remember you are coming upcoming papers paper two and paper three you got to score more than 60 marks assume that you haven't done enough in the paper one say that you already done a paper one nicely so with a 50 let's say 60 marks on a paper one so you don't need to worry about now paper two so you equally do 60 and another 60 you can easily got the a star but now i'm assuming that you haven't done the paper one enough so if that is going 45 you've got to do the um paper two and paper three very well so that is the reason we have planned um bring up all the four markers five markers and six marker questions collectively and help you out make sure that you practice the harder question please don't do the easy question lcm and all the decimal multiplication standard form those are the one marker two marker question you will definitely do it but try to you have plenty of time and your half term uh, vacation is there so make use of the time please try the four marker five marker questions to practice with the high end of the paper so then we securely uh, do some high end of the questions then you can easily achieve your targets great so let's look at some questions now question number one Dion needs 50 gram of sugar to make 15 biscuits she also needs three times as much flour as sugar two times as much butter as sugar Dion is going to make 60 biscuits work out the amount of flour she needs Sugar is 50 grams, so flour is 3 times, so 3 times 50 is 150. Butter is 2 times of sugar, so 2 times 50 is 100 grams. So 15 biscuits require 150 gram flour. So 60 biscuits is 4 times, so 4 times 150 is 600 grams. 
Second part, Dion has to buy all the butter. She needs to make 60 biscuits. She buys the butter in 250 gram packets. So 50, 15 biscuits require 100 gram butter. So 60 biscuits, four times of so 400 gram butter. So you need two packets of uh, butter, two times 250 is 500 grams is much um, enough for the 400 grams. So you need two packets, that is the answer. Question number two, a shop sells packs of black pens, packs of red pens and packs of green pens, two pens in the pack of black pens, five pens in each pack of red pens and six pens in each pack of green pens. So everything is given. The ratio of the number of packets sold in a day to the uh, black and red and green is given. Seven is to three is to four. Total pen sold is 212 and work out the number of green pens sold. So work out the number of pens is um, seven ratio times two. The ratio is 14 black uh, pens is to 15 because three times five. The next is six times four is 24. If I add everything is going to be 53. So out of 53 pens, 24 are green and times 212 so you can 53 goes into 4 times and 4 times 24 is 96 question number three work out an estimate for the value so it's easy square root of 63.5 is 64 times 100 then square root of 64 you can split that split that into two parts 8 and 10 is the answer answer is 80 2.6 uh, to the power 6 is given 148 and 0 0.23 means you have to careful 2.3 divide by 10 to the power 6. That 6 belongs to uh, both of the numbers 2.3 to the power 6 and 10 to the power 6. So the first one is already given 148 over 10 to the power 6. So the answer is 148 can be standard form it was 148 times 10 to the power 2. 10 to the power 6 is bottom, go at the top, 10 to the power minus 6. So minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. So that is the answer, 1.48 times 10 to the power minus 4. So 5 to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 over 5 to the power 2. So 1 over 25. Question number 4, um, a cone and a hemisphere is attached together. So volume of the cone, you can find out one third pi r squared h. The formula is given in the exam. One third pi times r squared is uh, diameter is given six and uh, radius is three. So three squared is nine times 10. You solve it 30 pi. Volume of the hemisphere, remember to put half times four third pi r cube. The formula is given. So if you simplify is 18 pi, add them together 48 pi. So k pi equal 48 pi, so k equal 48 pi, divide by pi, cut uh, pi pi, so k equal 48. Question number 5. Given that x squared is to 3x plus 5 equal 1 is to 2, find the possible value of x. So x squared is a ratio, so x squared is to means ratio 3x plus 5 equal 1 over 2. Cross multiply, you get a quadratic equation, factorize, then that gives a 2x minus 5 can be 0, x plus 1 can be 0. So you've got two answers for x, x equal 5 by 2, x equal minus 1. So the, here the trick is the ratio, you need to write, written, write the uh, question in a, a fraction format, x squared over 3x plus 5, 1 over 2. Then cross multiply gives the answer. Question number six, express square root of three plus square root of 12 in the form of a root three. So square root of 12 can be uh, written as four times three. So you can see here, so you can square root of four times three, square root of four can be written as two root three. So two root three plus root three is going to be three root three. So a equal three, that is the answer for the a part. 
b part 1 over root 3 to the power 7 the 7 belongs to 1 and root 3 as well so 1 to the power 7 is 1 root 3 to the power 7 is root 3 to the power 7 can be written as root 3 to the power 6 times root 3 root 3 to the power 6 i have shown here the working six times which will work out uh, 3 times 3 9 9 times 3 27 root 3 so rationalize the top and bottom um, denominator so root 3 times root 3 is 3 3 times 27 is 81 so root 3 over 81 you may lose one or two marks if you are not rationalized question number seven h is inversely proportional to p so h is proportional to inversely 1 upon p so introduce the k upon p the value of h is given 10 p is given 6 cross multiply you get the k equals 60 so h equals 60 over p and the next one p is directly proportional to root t so p is directly proportional to root t p equal k root t root t so 6 equal k square root of 144 so 6 equal 12k because square root of 144 is 12 12k so k is half so you substitute the equation p equal half root t so you merge both equations so h equal 60 over p is half root t and the two goes to top and multiply it together with the 60 is 120 over square root of t question number eight the function is given fx and the gx they are asking f inverse x so f inverse x the way to do is fx equal 3x minus 1 replace the fx with y equal 3x minus 1 switch the y to x x to y so x equal 3y minus 1 so then change y as a subject so y equal x plus 1 over 3 so that is going to be f inverse of x is x plus 1 over 3 that is the answer for the a part b part fgx it's a composite function and gfx you've got to find out what is fgx you need to put the gx into f so gx function is x squared plus 4 into f function so 3 of instead of x you replace the x squared plus 4 then you simplify you get 3x squared plus 11 gfx times 2 so fx this time replace to g so fx replace into the gx so 3x minus 1 whole thing squared plus 4 so times everything by 2 so the final answer is going to be 18x squared minus 12x plus 10 then equate both of them so you will get the quadratic equation as 15x squared minus 13 x minus 1 so that is the answer for the question number b question number 9 there are only r red counters and g green counters in a bag a counter is taken at random from the bag the probability that the counter is green is 3 upon 7 so green is 3 upon 7 means red is 4 upon 7 so 4 portion means number of the counters of the red is 4x and number of the green is going to be 3x now two more red counters added so plus 2 so total is going to be 4x plus 2 and number of three green counters added so plus 3 so 3x plus 3 so probability of the green counters is going to be 3x plus 3 on the top over you need to add these two so this one plus this one so it's going to be 4x plus 3x is 7x plus 5 equal to 6 upon 13. So that time the green probability taking a green counter is 6 upon 13. Cross multiply you will have a simple solving equation technique to get x equal 3 then times by 4 that will give the red counters times by 3 that will give the uh, green counters. Question number 10 is a permutation combination. There are three dials on a combination lock 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. The three digit number 553 is the way uh, dials can be set as shown in the diagram. 
work out number of different three digit numbers different three digit numbers means the two numbers cannot be same so this number is completely same one two three or one four five or one two four something like that completely different can be set for the combination log so the first digit can be five different ways there second one also five different ways and th third one also five different ways so totally five times five times five is 125 combination so work out the different three digit combination so three digit combination means it can be one 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 that also inclusive b part is the tricky one so how many the possible three digit numbers have three different digits that means three different digit means if you have the one here you can't have the one here so first of all the first digit is filled with five different combination if that is filled by one of the digit then the second digit cannot be have that first one so one combination less so out of five one less is four combination then times by the second third digit so has to be if the one and one comes or two different uh, things come so other combination is going to be reduced by one so four combination now is going to be reduced to three so five times four is 20 20 times three is 60 possible numbers you can have so that is the question number 10. is your child weak in mathematics do you spend much time at work and struggling to find a tutor for your children don't worry because we have an ultimate solution. Smart Tutors brings you an amazing meld of mathematics coaching experience by tutors working successfully in UK for more than 12 years. Our website is an immersive learning experience that provides comprehensive, curriculum-aligned mathematics content for toddler, age five, to teenager, age 18. Smart Tutor is a user-friendly website which enables you to download three mathematics worksheets for free. If preferred, the user can download thousands of mathematics worksheets and sample papers for the chosen age group for only £2.50 per month. Not just this, but if you wish to have private tutoring at home, and if you are living in London 20 miles radius from Heathrow Airport, you can request for private tutoring by clicking the button, and Tutor will contact the parent and arrange the class for your child at your own place. Smart Tutors also provides a facility to have tutoring via online tools. If you are interested, book your session now. You'll not need to wander for math tutors for your children anymore. Contact us today for a guaranteed 100% success.